Chicago, Chris Colfer. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to the show. Oh, of course, of course. Thank you for it having me. It is Bob back. Marley week. I heard. Are you yes. a fan of a fan of Bob Marley? Somewhat. I have a um, dog at home. I mean, I was born like five years ago. Who's Bob Marley? Um, no, yeah, no, yeah. Um, no. My family dog at home. Uh, one of the three is named Bob Marley. Well, you have a dog named Bob Marley. Yes, yes. Well, my my parents named him Bob Marley Merlot because he likes the wine. <laughs> the dog does. The dog loves wine. Not your yes. parents. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, so your parents are fans of Bob Marley as well? Yeah, yes, I, I guess so. I mean, they, they never played his music when I was growing up because they would, they would never show anything like they were cool, you know, when I was growing up. But, yeah, um, but yeah no, his name is Bob Marley, and uh, we call him Marley, and he is a paranoid schizophrenic. The dog and, and narcoleptic, yes. And a narcoleptic, yes, he falls a, asleep? He falls asleep constantly, and, like, whenever he wakes up, like, as soon as he hears anything, he... He's, he's freaked like out. Yeah. yeah, he's, he's just—he's strung out on something like oh too much God, puppy awful. chow. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll lower the uh, volume, which they do like this, <laughs> and you'll lower the volume so that he can watch right, the show right, right now. Not getting nervous. Seriously, hi Marley. He gives me anxiety. It's crazy. I just waved at him <laughs> like that would be. Uh, hey, look at this, my friend. Yeah. Time 100. Thank you. Yeah. Look at you. That's a big picture. No. I'm right under the M. You the got the M. M you got the forehead. yeah. You got like a Harry Potter yeah. scar far on. Uh, <laughs> uh, but look, look. I was looking at your picture. Look at this, and then it's much bigger than Oprah's. Oh. Look at oh, look at tiny Oprah compared to Chris don't, Colfer. Don't say that. What do you mean? It's dangerous. What are you talking She's about? She's probably watching us. Don't say that. Well, what she, well, she loves She's this. a very powerful woman. <laughs> yeah, but still, this uh, is kind of cool. It's, it's very cool. I, I still don't know what I'm doing on, on it, to be honest. I mean, this was fun, and you yeah. got to go to Time 100. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a big award show thing. And yes, yes. For the 100. Gala. Yeah. I mean, that's fun. Crazy, crazy. Like, it was, the room was so full of and so many impressing, important people, and, and I, I just, I, I had no idea what I was doing there. Oh, my God, of course yeah. you were there. But then you were also at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, too. Yes, that was awesome, also. But I was really disappointed because I went there um, thinking, um, it was on a Saturday night, and I went there thinking that I was going to have this huge VIP private tour of the White House the next day, like the Situation Room and, and the Oval Office, and I'm a huge, huge uh, history nerd, so I, 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 was, I was just so excited to get there, and, and then they told us that it was canceled. And I was so pissed, so, so upset, and I was like, yeah. there better be a good reason why my White House tour w was canceled. And um, they caught Osama that day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean... So if I didn't hate him before, I'm not... <laughs> you, really, you really screwed up your plans. Yeah, thanks, Osama. <laughs> uh, you have a big birthday coming up. Yes. 21. Yes, turning 21. What are you going to do? Are you going to have a big blowout? Well, I mean, I, I figured I could do something, you know, uh, um, huge and big, but I figured I'm not going to remember it anyway. So, so what, what's the point of doing something, you know, colossal? Because you're just going to get just hammered out of your yeah, mind? Yeah, I'm going to be so sore the next day that, yeah. I'm not going to have time to flip through pictures or anything. No. You're just going to just, you're just going to be sore from drinking? Sore and upset and... Are you and drinking like, are you, maybe your glasses are too heavy. Maybe, I don't know. Get some, like, we'll see. plexiglass or something like that. Or, we'll see. Uh, let's talk about Glee. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's coming to the end of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, you were just, uh, but congratulations, by the way, they just made you prom queen. Thank you. <laughs> That was yeah. really good. That was really funny. It's one title I had never thought I would have. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Right, right. No, I remember when I got the script. I was reading through the script, and, and of course, we all knew that it was called Prom Queen, but I'm never thinking that it's going to, you know, be Kurt. And, um, and I'm flipping through it, and then I, I read the page where he's crowned the queen. And, and this, that's what I did. I was just, I just, I couldn't believe it. And then I, I went up to the show creator, and I said, so, in this last scene, I'm wearing a kilt and a tiara, Dancing with a boy to Dancing Queen. <laughs> Did I do something to offend you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but no, I mean, I, I, so I, was, I was very nervous how it turned out, but it turned out fantastic. It turned out one of the, great, yeah, the best shows of the best season. Best episodes, yeah. That was wild. Yeah. Well, we love you. Chris Colfer, so come back whenever you're around. We are Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Fox. Lenny Travis performs next. Come on back.